Hello everyone! Welcome to Virginia Museum of Fine Arts, Creative Connection, Fast, Slow, Away We Go. This video is brought to you by VMFA Early Childhood Education. We are excited to be sharing with you. In this lesson, we will read a story, sing songs, create art, and look closely at a work of art from VMFA's collection. As you follow along with each teacher, feel free to pause and continue the video as it suits your family or classroom. If you have any questions or comments, feel free to email us at earlychildhood at vmfa.museum. Enjoy! Hello my friends, Miss Corinne here with VMFA and we are going to be sharing a creative connection with you guys. Before we get started, um, we're gonna sing our welcome song and if you've sung, with it, sung the song with us before, you'll know that we like to raise our hands and wiggle our fingers. Are you ready to sing with me? Wonderful, let's get started. Welcome everybody, let's wave hello. Let's touch our nose and wiggle our toes. Welcome everybody, let's pinch our cheeks and smack our knees and stomp our feet. Welcome everybody, let's wiggle our ears and blink our eyes and clap our hands, yay! Welcome everybody, let's start our class. Well, welcome my friends. This creative connection is called Fast, Slow, Away We Go. Can you think of any animal that you know of that is fast? I hear some of you guys saying that a cheetah runs really fast and maybe an ostrich, maybe a dog or a rabbit. Those are all very fast animals. Can you think of an animal that is slow? I hear some of you saying that a turtle can be slow and maybe a sloth. Yes, yeah, sloths are very slow. <laughs> Do you like to run really fast or very slow? Yeah, I like to run fast too, especially when you run fast outside. <laughs> so are there any thing that you can think of that has wheels that can go really fast? Maybe something that you ride in? Yeah, I hear some of you saying that when you ride in the car, the car goes really fast. Oh, and some of you guys like to ride bikes, and you can ride your bike fast. Or a scooter, if you have a scooter at home, or maybe if you ride in a wagon that someone pulls for you, that can go fast. Do you like to ride in a stroller, and maybe your mommy or daddy pushes you fast in a stroller? Yes, those are all things that have wheels that can go very fast. So that's what we'll be talking about today. I have a song that I want to share with you that is um, that talks about rolling, very similar to rolling wheels, and it's to the tune of row, row, row your boat, but instead of row, you say roll. Would you like to learn it with me? Wonderful. So the hand motions are like this. Can you put both of your hands up and make your hands into fists? Nice job. Then you'll put your hands like this and then put one on top of the other to make it look like it's rolling. Awesome. So first, can you try to roll slow? Slow, slow, slow. Wonderful. Now, can you try to go fast with your hands? Fast, fast, fast. Awesome. All right, are you ready to sing with me and do the hand motions? Perfect. Okay, here we go. Roll, roll, roll your hands as slow as can be. Roll your hands, let me see. Roll them slow with me. Good job. Are you ready for fast? Awesome. All right, here we go. Roll, roll, your, roll your hands as fast as can be. Roll them fast, let me see. Roll them fast with me. <laughs> awesome. Do you want to do it one more time to make sure we have it down? Okay, let's do it. Ready? Let's do slow. Roll, roll, roll your hands as slow as can be. 
Roll them slow, let me see. Roll them slow with me. Awesome, all right, let's do fast. Roll, roll, roll your hands as fast as can be. Roll them fast, let me see. Roll them fast with me. Wow, that was really fast. Awesome. Well, I hope you guys enjoy this creative connection. Next, you will um, read a book with Miss April about a duck that learns to ride a bike. Then you'll do a song about a bike, and then you will do a lap bounce, and then there's a virtual art gallery showing that you'll see, and then we're gonna do an art project where you roll things down a ramp or a slide with paint to make them go fast. We're gonna have a lot of fun. I hope you enjoy. Bye. Hello friends. I have a story to share with you, but before I read my story, I wanted to see if you could figure out what our story is going to be about. So I'm going to give you a clue and I want you to listen closely and see if you know what's making the sound you hear. Okay, are you ready? All right, here's my sound. Listen closely. Can you guess what that is? Listen again, ready? It does sound like a ringing sound. Someone's saying it's a bell. You're getting closer, it is a bell. It's a special kind of bell that goes on something with wheels. Listen one more time. That's right, it's a bike bell. And I bet some of you have a bell like this on your tricycles or bicycles or scooters. So our story today is about a bike. So the title of our book is Duck on a Bike. Are you surprised to see an animal riding a bike? So in this story, our animal is a duck. And if you look close, can you find the bike bell? That's right, it's right there. And what color is the bike? Yeah, it's red. Can you also see the colorful tassels that are hanging from the end of the handlebars? You might have those too. So I was wondering, do you think this bike belongs to Duck? I noticed that Duck's feet can reach the pedals, but his legs aren't quite long enough for him to be able to sit on the seat. So I wonder what Duck is up to. So let's find out. Let's get ready for our story by clicking on our listening ears and putting on our thinking caps. Zoop. And I think maybe for this story, we should also put on our bike helmets. So put your helmets on nice and snug and let's give them a snap. Okay, I think we're ready. I wanted to start by looking at the title page and I wanted to ask you, where is Duck? Can you tell where he is? That's right, he's on a farm. You can see there's a big red barn and some of you might have spied the pig and the cow. So in this story, there are going to be some animals and I want you to help me make the animal sounds when I read those parts of the story, okay? Can you help me do that? Great. So if you're ready, let's all ring our bike bells. Good job. One day, down on the farm, Duck got a wild idea. I bet I could ride a bike, thought Duck. He waddled over to where the boy parked his bike, climbed on, and began to ride. At first, he rode very slowly, and he wobbled a lot, but it was fun. Did you hear who the bike belongs to? That's right, it said it belonged to a boy. Duck rode past Cow and waved to her. Hello, Cow, said Duck. And Cow said, can you help me, ready? Moo, good job. But what she thought was, a duck on a bike? That's the silliest thing I've ever seen. And remember, Duck has a bike bell. Can you see something that the cow has that can make a ringing sound? That's right. 
she has a cowbell around her neck. Then Duck rode past Sheep. Hello, Sheep, said Duck. And Sheep said, Bah! But what she thought was, he's going to hurt himself if he's not careful. You can tell by her face, she's a little bit worried about Duck riding that bike, isn't she? Duck was riding better now, and he rode past Dog. Hello, Dog, said Duck. And Dog said, woof, woof, woof. But what he thought was, that's a mighty neat trick. Sounds like Dog would like to ride a bike too. And we can tell that Duck's going a little bit faster now on the bike because look, Dog has to run to keep up with Duck. Then Duck rode past Cat. Hello, Cat, said Duck. And Cat said, meow. But what she thought was, I wouldn't waste my time riding a bike because she's too busy doing what? That's right, giving herself a bath. Duck pedaled a little faster. He rode past Horse. Hello, Horse, said Duck. And Horse said, Nay! But what he thought was, you're still not as fast as me, Duck. Because horses can run, can run pretty fast, can't they? So Horse wasn't impressed. Duck rang his bell. Can you ring your bike bell again? Ring, ring! As he rode toward Chicken. Hello, Chicken, said Duck. And Chicken said, cluck, 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 cluck. But what she thought was, watch where you're going, Duck. Looks like Chicken had to hurry up and get out of the way. Maybe Duck should have rang his bike bell a little bit sooner to give Chicken some more time. Then Duck rode past Goat. Hello, Goat, said Duck. And Goat said, meh. But what he thought was, I'd like to eat that bike. Do you see what the goat is eating? Yeah, he's eating trash out of a trash can. But usually goats like to eat other things like grass and plants. They don't usually like to eat trash. In this picture, we also get a really nice close-up view of the tire on Duck's bike. So can you see the spokes? And do you know what this is? Yeah, it's an air valve. It's where you pump the air into the tire. Duck stood on the seat and rode past Pig and Pig. Hello, pigs, said Duck. And Pig and Pig said, oink, oink, oink. But what they thought was, Duck is such a show off. Do you see what Duck's doing? He's riding the bike with one foot on the seat and the other foot in the air. He's really being brave now, isn't he? Then Duck rode no hands past Mouse. Hello, Mouse, said Duck. And Mouse said, squeak, squeak, squeak. But what he thought was, I wish I could ride a bike just like Duck. So think about the size of a mouse. What size bike would a mouse need? Yeah, mice are pretty tiny animals, so this mouse would need a teeny tiny bike to ride. And look at Duck. No hands and no feet. Duck is really having fun on that bike. Suddenly, a whole bunch of kids came down the road on bikes. They were in such a hurry that they didn't see Duck. They parked their bikes by the house and went inside. Whoa, look at all of those bikes. Does it look like these kids are riding slow or fast? Yeah, it does look like they're going fast. Their wheels are really kicking up all the dirt. And if you look close, you can see that most of the kids are wearing their bike helmets and there are lots of different kinds of bikes. I see a boy riding a bike with train wheels. There's also someone on a tricycle and there's a girl who has a basket on the front of her bike. 
Maybe some of you have baskets in your bikes or tricycles. And there's even a special bike. These two children are riding the same bike. It's called a tandem bike. It's made for two people to ride at the same time. So lots and lots of bikes. Look at the animals. They're all looking at the bikes that the kids have left outside. And I wonder what they're thinking. You think they want to ride the bikes? I think you're right. Let's find out. Look at that, you were right. Look at all of the animals riding on bikes. They're having fun just like duck. Now all the animals had bikes. They rode around and around the barnyard. This is fun, they all said. Good idea, duck. Look at them all. Do you see who ended up on the tricycle? Yeah, the chicken. And look at the sheep. The sheep has the bike with the training wheels. And Pig and Pig are sharing the tandem bike. And can you find Mouse? There he is. He's catching a ride on the handlebars of Duck's bike. And I also noticed that Dog is chasing Cat in the background. And can you see what the goat is up to? He got the bike with the basket. And look, he's munching on the basket. Oh no! but they all look like they're having a really fun time riding the bikes. Then they put the bikes back by the house and no one knew that on that afternoon, there had been a cow, a sheep, a dog, a cat, a horse, a chicken, a goat, two pigs, a mouse, and a duck on a bike. So those kids never knew the animal's secret. What do you think those children would have thought if they had come outside and seen all of the animals riding their bikes? If you have a pet, can you imagine if you saw your pet riding your bike or scooter? That would be pretty surprising, wouldn't it? And here's our last page. Can you see what the duck is looking at now? That's right, he's looking at a big red tractor. And I wonder what he's thinking. I think so too. I think Duck wants to drive that tractor. And maybe he will. And that's the end, my friend. So thank you for listening to my story. And I hope you enjoy riding whatever you like to ride that has wheels. And I hope I see you again soon. Bye, friends. here for our Creative Connections class, Fast Slow, Away We Go. I'm here with my daughter, Noah, and we are going to be singing a song for you today about a bicycle, because today's class is all about transportation. And in order to sing our song, we have to know some colors and what they mean. So when you're driving in your car and you get up to a stoplight and you see the color green, green usually means, does anybody know? Do you know what it means? Go fast. Go, green means go. And when you get up to a stoplight and you see the color yellow, yellow means? Slow down. Slow down. And when you get up to that stoplight and the stoplight is red, then you know you need to? Stop. Stop. So when we're riding our bicycles for this song, we need to use those colors to help us. So first we're gonna do it once through with Noah as my helper, and then on the next round, maybe you can join us. So the song goes like this. Are you ready? Okay. I have a little bicycle, I ride it to and fro, and when I see the light is green, I know it's time to go. I have a little bicycle, I ride around the town, and when I see the light is yellow, I know it's time to slow down. I have a little bicycle, I bought it at the shop. And when I see the light is red, I know it's time to stop. Very good. Okay, we're gonna do it one more time. So if you guys can get in a comfortable position on the ground, you can do it along with us. Are you ready? Are you ready? Yes. Okay, let's get our pedaling legs ready. 
Here it goes. I have a little bicycle, I ride it to and fro. And when I see the light is green, I know it's time to go. I have a little bicycle, I ride around the town. And when I see the light is yellow, I know it's time to slow down. I have a little bicycle, I bought it at the shop. And when I see the light is red, I know it's time to stop. Good job, everybody. Well, I hope you had fun singing our song with us today. And I hope you enjoy the rest of the lesson. Bye for now. Say bye. Bye. Today we're going to perform a lap bounce for our infants and very young toddlers titled Bouncing Up and Down in My Little Red Wagon. Now, if you've done a lap bounce with, with us before, you know it's important to be comfortable. So if you feel like it, go ahead and sit up against a wall to give your back some support. And if our infants are too young to sit up on their own or hold their head up on their own, you wanna lay them down in your lap like this. And if you are too big to sit on a grown-up's lap, you can sit in the grass and perform the activity along with us. All right, here we go. Bouncing up and down in my little red wagon. Bouncing up and down in my little red wagon. Bouncing up and down in my little red wagon. Won't you be my darling? One wheel up and the axle's dragging. One wheel up and the axle's dragging. One wheel up and the axle's dragging. Won't you be my darling? And now we can go on to a different color. What color would you like to do? We could do yellow or green. You know, there's yellow flowers back there. So maybe we'll do yellow. Bouncing up and down in my little yellow wagon. Bouncing up and down in my little yellow wagon. Bouncing up and down in my little yellow wagon. Won't you be my darling? One wheel up and the axle's dragging. One wheel up and the axle's dragging. One wheel up and the axle's dragging. Won't you be my darling? All right, thanks for joining us. Hello friends. Today we are gonna be doing a fun process-based art project. We've been talking about things that go fast and things that go slow. And so we'll be doing an art project with things that go can go really fast. So I'll show you my example. This is my example for this art project. Now, does your art project need to look like mine? No, it doesn't. It can look however you would like. And we have different materials at home that will make different textures. So as you can see, your textures might look different from mine. So I've got a lot of bubbles and I've got a lot of tire tracks and squiggles and lines and lots of different colors. So have fun with however your art project ends up looking. For parents who have infants, you can use this paint recipe. And you can use a lot of the items that I will show you that you can use, but also use the best your best discretion in knowing what um, can be placed in or 